So we not only now have three F-16s as high cap, we also okay. have two F-14s on the USS George Washington <laughs> on fucking standby to launch <laughs> to fucking give us crap. Holy <laughs> shit. So Elmo comes in one day and suggests that we fly a deep strike mission behind enemy lines in the F-5s, excuse me, MiG-28s. It was going to be a long flight and a relatively simple and stupid mission, but what made it so amazing was that later on, for whatever reason, over half the damn server decided to join us by providing escort service all the way to the objective. And all of this just to strike an EWR site. I didn't come up with this mission. Y'all can blame Elmo for this stupid ideas. But anyway, I'm gonna let him explain the plan. Alright, and you heard the plan there, uh, Arlius? Uh, sort of. Alright, go ahead and, uh, walk him through really quick what we're doing there, Elmo. Alright, Arlios, to the F-10 map. So we're taking off from Aldafra. We're gonna travel northeast to the Echo Papa area. Once we hit the coast, we're then going to head into the hills and we're going to travel direct north up to Giraffe Airport up there in Echo Sierra. Holy okay. shit. <laughs> From there, we're going to land. We're going to take the bags off. There is a EWR that's sitting in between Charlie Romeo and Delta Romeo. And we're going to strike that. And then we're going to head back to Giraffe Airport, load the three bags up again, head southwest back to Aldafra. Holy shit. We're not, we're not gonna make it. Are we, but are you gonna I am hopeful. Uh, the, the thing that really shocks me is why is Giraffe the Airport blue? Don't ask questions. Okay, so at all costs, Ralphie needs to stay alive. Because he's got radios. What do you mean? You're the, you're the radio man. Excuse me? You're the flight lead. Do I say your radio <laughs> man? God damn it. Doesn't look like there's much wind. I didn't listen to the Aetis. Neither did I. Let's just assume that the wind is blowing slightly towards us. I'm the pilot. I'm one of the best pilots. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Tremendous. Rotate. Copy. Uh, just splash to make anyone. I'm not sure if that's the one. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> not there he goes. There. <laughs> That was full half the stick there. <laughs> Still nearly full half the stick. <laughs> and two's blind, cause lead is in the fucking sun. <laughs> God damn it. I'm out of burner. I say again, I'm a taxi to the Al Defra. God damn. And now began our long, long journey across the Persian Gulf to the northeast, with Elmo leading the pack, me number two, and Arlios as number three. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you look to your 12 o'clock high, you'll notice the Tomcat. In its natural habitat, the Tomcat searches for its prey at high altitude. Be advised, we are outside of Jarhead's radar coverage. We are on our own. Yep. To switch right, we're going to be making a little left turn north. We're going to get behind our list. Charge field 2-1, RTD, radar problems. Got the codec. 1-1, one, one, Jarhead, Bandit Bra, 3354, 3, 3 22,000, blank, right. Trespass is 8 let me know. Just our Jarhead, I'll never say this again. Verbal, F-18, A-50, AWACS, 356, <laughs> You heard that. <laughs> what? Unbelievable. So unbelievable, in fact, that I had to see what happened here. Turns out that the F-18 actually managed to hit this guy several times, but it just refused to go down. In fact, it actually managed to drag the Hornet straight into Sam's, which inevitably got him shot down. But anyway, back to our flight. 
As we finally made it across to the other side of the water, we unfortunately came across two enemy Tomcats bearing straight down towards us. Stand by. You're clear. Break, stand by. Jedi break defensive, break defensive. Joestar direct. Joestar Jarhead. Vectors intercept. Zero, three, eight, four, one hundred. Zero, three, eight, four, one hundred. Two, shut F fourteen. I had him at twenty thousand, lost him on the scope. Jarhead, Jedi six, six, we are defensive. One, one, six, zero, four, four, one, 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 five. Copy, Joestar. Just head back out. Yeah, I got you. And none of us knew just how close we got to death when we went into that split us maneuver. Yeah, I got those 14 nails now, 6 o'clock. Yeah, get into these uh, hills here. Yep, yep, yep. And Radar Brock, I'm turn around and fucking. I got up. tally to 6 o'clock, slight high. Okay, well, the left guy split off left, uh, the right guy might yeah. still be pressing us. He's fired, he's fired, he's fired. Coming from after, I can't tell. It's you? It's you, it's you. He's tracking you. Okay, turning it hot. Shit. Damn. And like a dum dum, when I jettisoned my tanks, I forgot to flip the jettison switch back to safe, which made me unable to shoot my aim nines. This is what happens when you don't play a module for a while and forget the important stuff. Oh, this selected jettison. I'm dead. Well, it's up to Arleos now. Right there, just kill him. There you go. Oh! He's not dead though, you're gonna need to finish him off. Oh, there's a missile coming your way right now. Beam the missile. There you go. Oh. That was close. Into the missile. Turn right. Turn right. right. He's fired. He's fired. He's fired. Still tracking. Still tracking. Stand by. Stand by. Hard right. Good. Hard right. Hard right. You're good. It defeated. Defeated. Okay. I nothing fired at him, and I saw the missile, it was off to his right. Since that made absolutely no sense, we had to check the tech view later. So the Tomcat fired an AIM-7 on Arleos, and he did a pretty good job at notching the missile. But, as Arleos pulls back up to engage the Tomcat, the missile reacquires him by pulling 90 degrees right into Arleos. See, now that's some bullshit. I see, that I see the two vipers. We don't this deserve this kind of escort. We really don't. This is, this is the dumbest mission, like too, like all for like one EWR, maybe an AWACS if it comes back online. Why do you want to roleplay so hard, Elmo? I don't even want to roleplay. This is just funny as fuck. F five limited capability, running in deep in an hostile enemy territory to take out one EWR. And uh, as you're passing the nose of these F sixteens, go ahead and raise your nose just like. Be proud. Flex a little. Cute and cuddly, boys. Cute <laughs> and cuddly. We're a fucking air show. No, this is coming up. Clear right, clear left. I could be wrong, but he may be talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> No. Whoa. Alright, brakes on. Run him up. Jedi Gozer, what's our initial course? <laughs> I, I'm hearing the utter contempt in their voice that they're escorting a bunch of F5s. <laughs> uh, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> yeah, okay, hold on. So we not only now have three F16s as high cap, <laughs> we also oh, have two F-14s on the USS George Washington on fucking standby to launch to fucking get us crap off this shit. The entire naval fleet's pushing forward just for us. <laughs> this is fucking glorious. It was the it's best complete. day ever. Best <laughs> day ever.
And so, as confident as I am with your flying abilities and information flying, I'm going to ask you to back at the the fuck off, sir. <laughs> and so, we pressed on towards our objective yet again, but this time with the helping hand of the Council of Crayons flying high above us as our escort. Jedi Gozer, yeah. Fort Marker 3 to head of you, uh, engaging target 30 miles straight north. Gozer, Jedi, giggity. It's beautiful! Hey, uh, what are you setting? There goes one. I think he's breaking defensive. Ah, uh, there's the cons off oh. to the left. Yeah. Thankfully, it seemed that the Council of Crayons was on top of their game, and they engaged the top cat successfully. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god, there's five of them! Where are they? Oh man, look behind oh, you guys! Some contrails! <laughs> Well, it seemed like the party was only getting started, as more and more people joined in on the escort mission. Oh, we got, uh, in front of us. Times two. Trust in the cat. I'm sure they're engaging. As two enemy frogs foolishly turned to engage us, our Tomcat flexed a little with his phoenixes. The first one found its mark, but the second missile missed. That bandit is 12 o'clock low. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm going to flip my master arm on. Bandit is now my 10 o'clock, climbing back up. Bandit is cold, out to the west, 17,000, has back Uh, it's that frog foot. I don't know if it's worth chasing this guy. We're going into the SA-10. I don't think this is a good idea. Guys are flying straight on ahead. Jedi guys are, they're, uh, this one guy's notching us pretty well. But We're flying straight on ahead? Okay. Box two. Okay, turn back right. Let's get out of Sam's range, yeah? Yay, yeah, firm. Sorry, I was just so bored. We have to do something. <laughs> 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 Fucking. The frogfoot's notching us. <laughs> God damn it, Cap. You had one job. <laughs> uh, fuel tanks are empty. External, right. switching to internal tanks now. Make sure to turn it back off. <laughs> I got it, I got it this time, I got it. There we go, cap's in front of us now, that, or they should be. This is kind of cool, I got it, man. Alright, so we got two options here. One, we can land, arm rockets, and then head to that EWR, or two, we take the field that we have, and then head west now, and head for that EWR. I mean, we have guns. We can just, uh, get it done. Hell yeah! Alright, let me advise, uh, Dozer and Mage Flight. Mage 66, we are dropping down low, going west, we're heading for that EWR. Uh, we've got, looks like we got the fuel. Uh, once we're done doing that, we're head to drop. Uh, goes for flight, it's got about three hours. Push right, Echelon. 9.1. Copy. Jedi's wanting us to establish cap as close Pushing all the way in the back. to uh, Delta Romeo as we can. And I'm currently flying over you guys, pushing left to assist them. Good round? I'm good, I'm gonna be uh, far right. Mm -hmm. Alright, rolling in. And... Sure, it was 100% flying. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, you guys stay in trail. I'm gonna pop up here. Uh, hey. He's fired. Oh, Ooh. he fired. A MiG-21 challenged us head on, and Elmo decided to take him into merge as we proceeded onwards towards the objective. That's a missile. Missile. I think it's coming after me. Popping uh, over the hill now. Yep. Going down low. 
Flash. All right, go kill. Uh, 12 o'clock, high. Man, a bogey. 1 o'clock, slightly high. We have an F-16 in that room. Yeah, he's, he's going for it now. Uh, missile launch, 11 o'clock over the hill, just disappear. Okay, you got him. He's dead. Bogey's dead. Alright, you guys are uh, weapons free. Over this hill, there's uh, several EWR systems. No idea whether there's fucking man pads or anything, so best of luck. Ooh, all the Oh, this is not okay. Oh boy. And all we got are guns. Oop. Fuck that run up. I had completely misjudged that pop up attack and messed it up. But no matter. I looped around for another pass. Missile, 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 go defensive. I'm engaging that man pad now. Copy, going for his issue. I still have control over the aircraft. Took out the EWR? I think I got the man pad. Took out his issue. One ZSU, three ZSUs remains. Don't Copy. worry about the ZSUs, they're, they're not worth our time. EWR has been shot dead. A little hairy, but the main objective was complete. Go north defensive, let's, uh, let's get under the radar. I think we got this. Leader, you still up? I think I just lost both my engines. I'm following you. Okay, stand by. Unfortunately, during our attack run, we lost our flight lead to a man pad, who was promptly killed by me shortly thereafter. Hey, uh, Ralph, you gonna radio that? Jarhead, uh, Stinger 1-1 one -one is taking over. We lost our flight lead. Uh, mission is complete. We are RTV northeast to get fuel, and then we're gonna head south. Uh, we lost lead just now. I had a fucking rock. I don't think Caesar is coming to pick you up. <laughs> just let me know. You're so deep behind enemy lines. And now we find out if Giraffe actually has rearming and refueling capabilities. Sadly, our flight of four was now a three ship, as we headed to Giraffe to hopefully rearm and refuel before heading back home. We're gonna do an overhead break, and then split off five seconds between each break. That should give us enough spacing. Okay, one's on the break. Losing break. Major on one, Fox one. Losing the break. Pull it once to deploy. When you slow down, then push it and pull it again, then it'll disconnect. Come on. Stinger, be advised, I'm tracking an SC-25 inbound to attack us while we land. I'm gonna turn in and engage my last Phoenix. <laughs> Roger that. Sorry about the trouble. While the three of us were busy rearming, the Tomcat that was still on station with us got himself into a wee bit of trouble with that MiG-21. Then, through a series of BFM errors, the MiG got on his six. So we took off to help him out. Okay, this is Stinger Flight. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take off right now. I was about to start rolling too. Let's go. Stay alive, Major 1. Oop! I'm engaged, she's on my 6. Oh no. Step 5, man. Uh, purple, 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5. 23, 000. 2, 2, 3, 2, 5, 22,000. Okay, this guy's, like, getting a little too excited about this. Since the fight dragged down so long, the MiG ran out of fuel and ended its life. That body to save. Did the fucking MiG-21 just eject? Oh, never kill. Did it? Are you okay? It did. It just ejected. Just got the Jesus scared out of me. He tagged me with cannon fire. He probably, uh, probably ran out of fuel before. Hey, firm. MiG-21 down. He just flew into the deck. Uh, Alright, go ahead. Get yourself re refueled, and, uh, Stinger Flight's gonna go ahead and start flying south back to Kassab. Copy. He'll probably fit out with a new pair of trousers while I'm here. It's a shame. I would have loved to go in and intercept that. That would have been like the cherry on top for this it. flight. Right? I was getting ready before you even went back, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, starting to roll. We're all hyped up. Stinger flight major one, be advised it will not be rejoining you for the flight home. I am losing hydraulic pressure rapidly. 
Well, we still wish you the best of luck. May the odds be in your favor. 053 for 177. You got it. One way or another, he's hitting the ground. Nice. Probably gentler than mine landing. Without too much drama, we made it far enough south to make a turn towards Kassab, and we were ready to call it a day. Alright guys, I'm going to dump the two side uh, tanks and run with the center line. Really? Yeah, because Kassab is right in front of us. Might as well get going. Dumping in three, two. Oh, I see our Sam defense is firing. That's both good and bad. Let's go ahead and start uh, throwing back here. Oh my god, I can see the contrail up there. 11 o'clock high, diving down. Before we could land, a foxhound and a flanker descended from the heavens right over our airfield. So, before we could land, we had to take care of it, because our fighters apparently were having trouble dealing with them. What was the second bandit? Stand by, second bandit now. Miss launch. Two eight nine for twenty. Splash. Oh. Sting one one splash thirty one. Second bad at two eight seven for twenty. Correction two eight zero. I'm out of stakes. More missile launches. At this stage, I know that there is still one more flanker north of me and has fired at least one missile at me. So I'm breaking defensive away from him in hopes that I could notch his missile. Got multiple missiles in the air. Upon hearing that the bandit is defensive though, I relax knowing that he has lost track and the missile is now a dud. Stinger 1-1, And what the fuck indeed. I went back to check the track and saw that he fired a 27 ER, which needs guidance all the way until impact. And impact it did. But when I looked at the flanker who was reported as defensive by the GCI, you can see that he turned away from me completely, and the missile still tracked itself into me without any guidance from the flanker. So my takeaway from all this is that I got chipped by silly AI logic right before landing. Therefore, it doesn't count and I technically made it home alive. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And then we were to Alexa, play taps. Congratulations, gentlemen. I mean, you know, they covered my body right over Kasab. I was a little closer than Elmo. <laughs> Just a little closer. Yeah, closer. they're never going to find mine. <laughs>